What's going on everyone? Welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about the topic of how you can edit clock widget on the iPad. And this topic is kind of complex and it depends on what you mean by that. So let me cover everything step by step. At first, you might have the widget on the home screen just like I have. This is the official one from the clock app, which is installed by default on the iPad. It comes from this app. So when it comes to editing this one, there isn't an actual edit button. What you can do, however, is to remove this one and add a different one from the same app, from the same clock app. Let me show you what I mean. So if I click on it, there isn't much to customize. So I'm just going to click the minus and remove it. And instead tap on the plus and scroll down, go to the clock. And instead of that one, I have multiple different styles to pick from, right? So I probably had this one before, so I can go to the uh, digital clock. I can swipe through them to find the style which I prefer. And once I'm ready, I can just click on add widget and it's just gonna be added to the home screen. So this is essentially how you can edit the widget. So you remove one and bring another one on the home screen. Okay, so this would be the first option. However, it may not be this simple because the options here are not like f there isn't a lot of options here. Another thing how you could edit is that in case you don't have like the regular clock, which only shows the time. Instead, you edit this one, which has the city. It's called city one. When you edit this one and tap on it, you can customize which city it shows you. Right. So you can choose if you want to show this specific city or like a different one, it's up to you to decide. But yeah, this is another way to edit the widgets, edit the clock widget. But besides that, I would recommend you to download a third party app, something which is gonna serve you the purpose of like a digital clock widget. So literally go to the app store on your iPad, look up digital clock, and you can also add the widget just to make sure that it has one. Many different options show up to you. You can customize or like choose the one which suits the best for you. For example, I personally tested out this one. I've shown, shown it to you in a couple of videos of mine. Uh, essentially, you can choose like this digital looking, I mean, nice looking clock, which you can also use as a widget. As you can see right here, I can have it as a small or large widget. I can open up the app and display the clock on a full screen as well. So the options with third party apps are just there. And those apps have more options to edit and customize the clock widget. So the point of the story is that if you're not happy with the uh, built in clock widget, just download any third party app, which serves the purpose. And based on what's available inside, you're going to be able to edit it. And the last thing which you may mean is editing the lock screen clock, which I'm going to show you right now. So if you go in here, you can see that we have the clock right here. So it's like 220 and you can customize it here as well. So just hold down anywhere, click on customize, tap on the lock screen and a tap on the clock. What shows up to you is a selection of fonts and colors. So this is how you can edit the clock widget on iPad as well. So you can choose like a different font and also adjust the thickness of the font, except for the last one. The last one doesn't have the thickness, but yeah, essentially any font that you pick, you can also change the color and just make sure that it just fits because also the, the widgets here take up the same color. So you should make sure that the color is like really in a good contrast with the background so you can actually see it. But yeah, this is essentially how you can do it. So yeah, I'm going to hit done and wrap up the video right here. If you found this useful, Hit the thumbs up. See you guys later in the next video.